guys, Pogosic29 here, and welcome to the final episode of Paintball Coding. Uh, this episode is just a very quick wrap-up. So, I know that I promised you guys a coding li uh, testing live stream, but due to time constraints, I wasn't able to do that. So I did a little bit of private testing with a few people on a private server, and I worked out a lot of bugs. I'm not even going to try to go into detail because there were a lot of things, but uh, for a few main things, the commands weren't registered, which a lot of you pointed out. Uh, the settings manager wasn't being set up. There were a few null pointer exceptions, just a lot of different problems. I also added a reload command to set up all the arenas by running a command. So I did a bunch of stuff, and that code will be available in the description. Uh, so you can download the f code, which should, be, should should work pretty well. Uh, now, as you can see, I'm on the Bucket Dev page right here for Pogo Ball because uh, we do have a page. I have submitted a build of the first version to Bucket Dev, and as you can see, that there there really isn't too much information here right now. But basically, what's going to happen? is I have passed the development on to uh, my friend Beach Boy. So he is another very good uh, Java developer. He will be taking over Pogo Ball. So if you have, if you find an error or you want to request a feature, please do not comment in one of my videos. Please come on to the Pogo Ball page and comment there. I will no longer be doing anything with Pogo Ball because I taught you guys all how to make it. And now I'm going to move on to more videos. So if you uh, want Pogo Ball and you know if you have an error or a request, make a comment on the Bucket Dev page. Don't talk to me because I am not handling that anymore. Um, for the future, the very near future, uh, I'm going to get back into the uh, bucket coding videos with more just, you know, random different things that you guys should learn, and I'm also going to be starting a GitHub mini-series. Now, the GitHub mini-series is going to be a lot shorter than this one, but it's basically just going to teach you how to create GitHub repos and push to repos and pull from repos and whatever, and basically what that'll let you do is uh, you can remotely, you can store your code on GitHub for other people to look at, and uh, so for open source projects, it's really helpful. Uh, it can be kind of confusing. There's no upload button on GitHub. You need to use a special application. Hang on one second. In that video series, uh, we are going to... That video series will start soon, and it should be pretty helpful. It was uh, pretty hard. It was uh, I never knew how to do it, but once someone told me, it was pretty easy. And that's what this smart git icon is. If you've ever been wondering what that icon is, that is for GitHub. So, uh, I believe that that is all that I needed to get out of the way for this video. The plugin has been tested. Source code is in the description. The, uh, the bucket dev page is up, and you can talk to Beach Boy for new feature requests. One more thing I didn't add is, um, as I, I guess a little gift or something to all the subscribers, I am going to give you guys the team spawn protection and, uh, NPC anti PvP log plugins that I have made. They are based off of the MC PvP plugins. And uh, for those of you that may remember, those are the plugins that I was scammed for. So, I have uh, in the description you can find the uh, source code for all three of those plugins. So please uh, use them how you want, change them if you want, uh, do whatever you want with it basically. And if you paid someone for that same functionality that I'm giving you for free, request a refund because I'm giving it to you guys for free. So uh, that's all for this video, and I will see you guys soon with more Bucket and GitHub tutorials. Bye.